Hey there! Welcome to Learn Oilfield Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you the latest news, tips, and tricks in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We've got tons of exciting content coming your way, so stay tuned. Music fades out. Introduction. Welcome to today's video all about drilling fluids. Get ready to learn about some fascinating stuff. A drilling fluid is any fluid that helps remove cuttings from the wellbore. In this video, we'll be exploring fluids that use water or oil as their continuous phase. We'll delve into the functions of drilling fluids and the makeup of a drilling fluid. Plus, we'll discuss the types of drilling fluids, including normal and special drilling fluids. Exciting, right? Functions of drilling fluids. Now let's get to the fun part. The most important functions of drilling fluids are all about keeping the drilling process running smoothly. They help remove cuttings from under the bit and carry them out of the hole, suspend cuttings in the fluid when circulation is stopped, and release cuttings when processed by surface equipment. Drilling fluids also provide enough hydrostatic pressure to balance formation pore pressures, prevent the borehole from collapsing or caving in, protect producing formations from damage, and even clean, cool, and lubricate the drill bit. It's like a superhero for drilling. Makeup of a drilling fluid. So what exactly is in drilling fluid? In its most basic form, a drilling fluid is composed of a liquid, either water or oil, and a viscosifying agent. But that's not all. We also need to add some sort of filtration control additive to control excessive filtrate, which can cause borehole problems. To balance abnormal pore pressures, we increase the density of the drilling fluid by adding a weight material, usually barite. The drilling fluid also consists of base liquid, dispersed solids, and dissolved solids, all with different properties like density, viscosity, gel strength, filter cake, water loss, and electrical resistance. Normal drilling fluids. Now let's talk about normal drilling fluids. These are fluids that are easy to describe but hard to define and find. They're used when no unexpected conditions occur, and the mud will stabilize, so its properties are in the range required to control hole conditions. The chief problem with normal drilling fluids is viscosity control. Formations usually drilled with this type of mud are shales and sands. We can use water-soluble polyphosphates and caustic soda and tannins to help control viscosity. Special drilling fluids. Special drilling fluids are like the avengers of drilling fluids. They're made to combat particular abnormal hole conditions or accomplish specific objectives, such as faster penetration rates or greater protection to producing zones. Some of the abnormal hole conditions include long salt sections and high formation pressures. Lime-based muds. Let's take a closer look at lime-based muds. These are water-based muds treated with large amounts of caustic soda, cabraco, and lime, added in that order. The ratio of caustic soda, cabraco, and lime for one barrel of mud is 2 pounds, 1.5 pounds, and 5 pounds, respectively. Lime-based mud will go through a highly viscous stage, but will become stable at a low viscosity. Lime-based muds can tolerate large amounts of contaminating salts and remain fluid when solids content gets high. However, it has a tendency to solidify when subjected to high bottom hole temperatures. Lime-treated muds. Lastly, we have lime-treated muds, which are similar to lime-based muds but differ only in degree. Lime-treated muds are a compromise attempt at overcoming the high temperature gelation problem. These muds are like the cooler, calmer cousin of lime-based muds. Conclusion. And there you have it, folks. Drilling fluids may seem like a small part of the drilling process, but they play a huge role in making sure everything, 